So, it's Friday, which means it's time for our Finnish Object Friday. For those of you who don't know me and are new here, I'm a Radiant Noari. I'm a resident witch and creatrix over to Radiant's Hand and Danae's Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. And on Fridays, I like to do what is usually a little weekly review based on the intentions that I set on Monday, and then a finished object when I have one. So... This week, there is no review because I did not set an intention. The This Monday was the Lunar Cast. So that post got pushed aside. And then I think Wednesday, I didn't do a post. Like, I checked in but didn't do a formal post. So here we are. Now, I actually finished this last week. It is the tea basket that I have been referring to over and over. And um, I'm super excited it's done. So without further ado, da -da -da -da. tea. First of all, I like tea. Okay, I like tea a lot. This is why there's so much tea in here. Um, I'm calling it the tea basket because I'm intending on it to hold the tea. I've got this nice little mug that goes with it. Basically made a care package for a friend of mine. Now... We're going to very carefully set this aside so you can see the rest of it. And yay! I'm so excited. So, the basket. Um, this is a modification off of the Waste Coast basket by Stephanie. Uh, I think her name is Lau. Hold on. Let me make sure. Stephanie Jessica Lau. Um, I'm not sure if I said her name right, so... I didn't. It's my fault. Um, but yeah, this is mine is a little bigger. I only used one hook and um, I used a different hook to um, yarn ratio because I used a different yarn. So, da -da -da -da. It's very shallow and I wanted it shallow so that was going to happen anyway. Um, I was hoping to be able to finish it and have the handles and everything but I actually ran out of yarn what's left is a really really small amount um so yeah but as far as the depth I I worked a sample which is behind me oh, not quite out of reach let's see Maybe it's more out of reach than I thought it was. Because there's things on top of it. Oh my gosh. Complicated. Okay, so I worked a sample. This one is a little, this is a little uh, shallower. So it's not quite as wide um, as this one. You can actually fit this one into that one. But um, I worked it to the height that I really wanted it to be. And... Um, I feel like this one worked a bit nicer, but there were parts of um, this one that I feel like the yarn may have been a little thicker. So a little bit about this yarn. This yarn is actually discontinued. Um, it is Lion Brands Fettuccine. I've linked it to its Ravelry page below. And um, it's basically fabric remnants. So somebody's taken Jersey turned it into yarn. I have the stabbing ouch motion in my sweater and I'm feeling like I'm hitting something. Uh, but um, as a result of it being remnants, it's not uniform in any way. Um, it's literally strips of fabric. And I don't think I have any of the yarn where I can reach it. But if you've ever made t-shirt yarn, that's what it is basically. And I mean, it's good. It's, it was, it was a nice yarn. So I shaped it a little bit. Um, but it was also kind of like just a giant pain in the ass as far as, um, working it mostly because the hook size was like a little bit too small. So, <laughs> which is not to say to discourage anybody. Just like I had to like kind of manhandle this yarn after a while which I didn't love doing, and my hands actually hurt really bad um, the next day. But I haven't, <laughs> I have a wrist injury, so yeah. But I'm super excited it's done. Um, 
And originally this and the gray were worked together and we're going to be a rug for um, the household. And the household has changed and shifted and is no longer a thing. And also, I don't, I don't love this color, personally. It's like Carolina blue. I don't love it. The gray? Yes. Love the gray. Um, but because it's remnants, there was very, very little yarn. So I got two skeins of each. And that was it. I couldn't get any more. Um, and they, they didn't have any more skeins. So it's not like I could have come back and gotten more. It was just not an option. But the whole purpose was I was going to make a sweater, which, you know, have I shared that sweater? I'm going to have to check. Um, if I haven't shared it as a finished object, but I need to make sure I share it before I send it out. I feel like I did, but I feel like I might not have. Um, if I shared it, which I hope I did, but if I didn't, that's cool because that gives me, like, something to, to share. Um, but... If I didn't share it, that'll be the next finished object that I uh, share. If I did, then what I will do is I will link to it below in the um, little link section. So there's that. But I really like this. I like the I love baskets. I love storage things. Um, and then like being able to make my own thing is just really nice. And I really hope the person who's getting it likes it. Um, and give them a ton of options when it came to the color. Like, this is what I got. This is what you're getting. Um, you know. So. But I think it does its job very nicely. Like, very nicely. Um, and I took a really swanky picture of uh, the whole gift basket. Which I will also show you below. So, you'll get to see all the pictures I took for the Ravelry um, project page below. And then the, <laughs> the picture of the gift basket. And um, I'll also... Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll stop there. Um, and then I'll link to the sweater if it's if it's up. I feel, like if, I feel like it should be. That doesn't mean it is. It just feels like it should be. So anyway, um, yeah, let's see. I feel like there's more I'm supposed to say about it, but I'm not really sure. It's really easy for my 15 minutes to turn into, like, 25. <sighs> really easy. Um... But, yeah, so, um, <sighs> normally I don't have a problem with t-shirt yarn. Uh, I think really the problem here was just the, um, it was just the hook size. It was a little too small. Now, okay, a reason just, why, why, why you say, didn't you just go up a hook size? Um, well, the whole point of using the smaller hook size was to get a really dense fabric, and that's how that works. Um... And, uh, that was, it was either going to use a thicker yarn or use a smaller hook. That's how that works out. Um, like this is, um, this is not got quite the stiffness of the other one. And I think part of that is because that yarn was a little thinner. Um, just to touch the, the, the width of the strip was a touch smaller. Anyway, um, so it was that, but, um, uh, the, the tightness of the stitches to the waistcoat stitch, which you use a center single crochet, um, to form that stitch versus just a traditional single crochet also made a difference. Had it been a traditional single crochet where you, um, went just worked into the top of the stitch, it might not have been so bad because you literally have to work in the center of the stitch. Um, and the fabric is already dense as it is. That makes it denser. So that was the other reason why this was not like a picnic. Like I was going to finish it. That was what was going to happen. Um, I also made it bigger. That's another thing. Like this is like a whole, I think a, a whole two rounds larger than the original one I made. Um, the original is made, I believe, to pattern as far as, um, the amount of stitches I started with and the amount of rows I went to, um, I think I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, this on the other hand is two rounds bigger and then I think it's, uh, eight rounds tall. Yeah. So there's that. That's like a whole thing. And it's worth it though. I wanted it. I wanted it to be able to fit the tumbler. I wanted to fit the tea and it's doing its job. So 
we're gonna call it good <laughs> despite the fact that it was oh my god frustrating which look 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 um <laughs> recipient of said thing if you're getting if you're watching this um don't feel bad like this is this is me making things difficult <laughs> so for those who don't know me i like to substitute shit randomly uh just for giggles like ah what if i did this which is i guess my way of experimenting i hate experimenting but I'm just, every now and then I get curious and I'm like, hmm, I'd like this out of this. And usually there's a reason that that material or that tool wasn't chosen. And as I start working on the thing, I begin to see why. Um, because it's either nightmarish or it's more difficult. Or it's more difficult than it needs to be. Which is just as bad, really, honestly. Um, but if you want something to look a certain way... There's certain concessions you have to make, and I it it does what I wanted it to do. The only thing it doesn't do <laughs> is I ran out of yarn, which you know I'm always playing yarn chicken. It's <sighs> measuring the amount of yarn that you need without making a swatch is impossible, uh, and even making a swatch it's an estimation, and that's you know provided it's a rectangle, right? Um, if I were to make a swatch. I would have had to make the swatch of the sides and the stitch that it was used as well as the bottom, right? That, that was going to be the only way I was going to get like a real kind of accurate idea. And even then it still would have been a guess um, because tension is different, this, that, and the other. And there's a lot of factors when it comes to, you know, yarning, yarning. So there's that. Um, but I don't hate t-shirt yarn. Um, I actually have a bunch that I've made and while I said I won't make any more of this basket, which is most, <laughs> most ab absolutely true. Um, that doesn't mean I won't make more like baskets in general. I have uh, some t-shirt yarn that is lime green and black and so I might make some striped baskets. Um, I might also do just other fun stuff with it, basically. I like to... I like to do cool stuff with things. Like, I like to use unconventional materials as part of me, like, just, like, throwing shit together. Like, uh, making lace. <laughs> I like so right? Lace. Okay, so this is, this is just... This is your wonderful segue. This is crochet cotton. Mmm, probably a size 10 by the looks of it. Um, yeah, I think it's a size 10. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a 12. Anyway, I don't have the tag, so I couldn't really say, but, um, this is the size, this is the size thread that this thing is like supposed to be made out of. It's just so fucking cute. Look how cute this damn thing is. So me and my weird ass <laughs> would be like, what happens if I made this with plarn or rope? Or wire. Wire would be a little difficult because there's all these fucking curves. Um, but <laughs> my silly ass has plans to do the, exactly that. So. Uh, how I'm going to do this with really fat yarn, I don't know. Um, but I, I like to make things either miniature. So like, I'm probably also going to take one of these and do it in sewing thread because clearly I've lost my fucking mind. And then I want to make one in like the biggest yarn I possibly can. And then it would just, it would just be, be this fun little size comparison. Uh, Cause I'm, I don't know, like, look, I don't like math. Okay. I hate math, but I do like the whole comparing, you know, sizes and ratios and shit like that. Um, because it's interesting. I don't, I don't even know why it's interesting. Like really it's, I don't have a, a there's, I have no fucking excuse. Anyway, I found it interesting though. So yay. Um, I gotta make like a billion more of these. I don't even, I don't even know what this motif is called. It's actually from a book. So yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bunch more because I'm gonna practice. This is my shovel tatting previous, previous version. This is not, this is not this. This is just me like making rings and chains and rings and chains and rings and chains and rings and chains. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so weird. Oh, 
so weird. Speaking of like lace, this is tatted lace, which is a knotted form of lace, by the way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's like, it's like little buoys on a wave. Look how cute that is. Look at the waves. Okay, stop. Just stop. You're being fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know how to not be weird, though. Like, really. Anyway, I love that one. I love this little thing. Now I need to, um, I need to get some stiffening spray. I need to make a bunch more of these. And then I need to sacrifice some of these to the, the experiment gods. Um, and stiffen the living hell out of them. And then see what happens. Um, like if I were to get it wet. Like, does the stuff wash off or what? Um, generally speaking, you're not, like, if you do wash the lilies, you need to hand wash them. If you do that, or maybe, like, spot clean them. Spot cleaning is a way to say, don't fucking wash it! Um. Oh, I like that. Ooh. So, that's cool. Make a... Make a nice little, uh, like, mask, though. Like, partial mask. Can you see, can you see the gears turning in my head? Yeah. <sighs> But, yeah, so that's what I finished. Hooray. Huzzah. Um, that means that I can send this care package off, right? No, I thought of something else to add to it. Because it's just weird. Um, I actually get a book to go with it. Which you'll see in the picture below. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I'm going to make a bookmark. Hey, friend, if you're seeing this video, because I sent you the link... Um, sorry I spoiled it. My bad. Oh my god, you know what else I could do? I could make a bunch of bookmarks with these on them. Hack, hack. Um, I should. Make some, like, really funky, um, really funky friggin' Pom-poms. That's what those damn things are called. My brain just stopped for a second. It happens. It happens a lot. I watched him at Shimmer and Shine. Like, really? Boom's army. The first wish of the day. Okay, what's going on here? Trying to see what else I had to say. So, okay. So, wrapping up. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What did you finish up this week and how you feel about it? As always, you can find all of the links to everything I've talked about here. So the project page, the pattern page, the yarn, as well as the hooks that I used, which was boys anodized aluminum hooks, which are my favorite. Some people like Susan Bait, some people like boy. I'm all about the boy. All about the boy. But, um, of course, also, you can find me at a radius hand in Denise, Denise Divine. There are links below, as well as my active social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I like to hang out on Instagram, like, a lot. So that is, like, the place. But don't message me there. It's not a good place to message me. There's not a really, there's not a good place to message me at all. Although, if you, like, at me on Twitter, that's cool. Don't, don't, don't roll up in my DMs, though. Very unlikely to answer. Because I hate Twitter DMs. And I don't, I'm not down for conversations in my DMs. Like, I'm just not. And you can just at me. And, like, I'll see it. Like, whatever. Um, and I'm not really, I don't really love messages on to my Facebook page either. I don't. I mean, whatever. Do you, right? Just know that if you contact me in a way that I don't prefer, it might take me a little longer to get back to you. Because that's how that works, right? That's how that works. So, okay. Um, I guess we're done here. Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember, if you want to see all these pictures that I've been talking about, and you want to see a nice static image to look at for uh, the care package as well as the basket itself, you're going to have to hit that link at the very top and head over to my Patreon. This is a public post, so everybody will be able to see it. 
Um, and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. But also consider coming over to Patreon and checking it out. And if you're over on Patreon watching this, thanks! Awesome! Yay! Hooray! Um, thanks for following. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not, if you're not a patron already, join us. Join us. Join us. Dead by dawn. It's Friday the 13th, y'all. And I'm watching Friday the 13th. So I've never seen them. I know. Gasp. <gasps> Gasp. It's my very good friend. And I told her last night, she was like, you haven't seen them? And I'm like, as a Freddy Krueger girl. So, yeah. Nothing like not sleeping them drive you cuckoo. Cuckoo bananas. So that's it. I gotta go. It's it's we're now see look, look, I was trying to get up to fifteen minutes and now we're over fifteen minutes. It's okay. Right? Sure. Whatever. Any hoozy. Um what is tomorrow? Tomorrow I think tomorrow's supposed to be our studio share. It was supposed to be last Saturday, but I had the littles and Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm going to try to make it tomorrow. Um, cause t next week I have, I have the littles again, but I'm not actually sure off the top, top of my head what it's supposed to be. And you're sitting on top of my planner and I can't move it cause I've got a really precarious situation going on there. So maybe, maybe it's a studio share. And if it's a studio share, like I gotta like get to it. It's a mess in here. As you can see, um, this is supposed to, this is going to be a new altar space. So that might be the highlight of the studio share. If they will finish telling me what they want. That is, uh, work right in progress right there. Needs to get taken care of too. I might spend like the whole weekend just making videos so I can do that. Cause I have a ton of stuff to share, like sitting right behind me and I can put it away as soon as I make a video for it to share with y'all. Right? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be an admin week. Woo-hoo! So, stay safe. Have fun. Um, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. <laughs> don't touch other people's faces. Um, don't freak out. It's a virus. If you're in an, in an at-risk population, you know, do your due diligence. If you're not in an at-risk population, do your due diligence and don't make other people's lives harder. Don't be a, don't be a dick. Okay. Uh, but do what you gotta do, right? The world can't stop. We can't just put everything on pause. We can't all go in like little isolated bubbles. Um, so whatever people need to do is whatever they need to do and you need to let them do it. Uh, yeah. So cheers and I'll see you bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and probably over-caffeinated tomorrow.